U.S. Soccer. Today, from RFK Stadium, Fort Lauderdale takes on Team America. Brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers, and proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Last Wednesday night, the Fort Lauderdale Strikers played in Tulsa. The Strikers opened the scoring in the first half on a goal by Teofil Cabillas. But the Tulsa Roughnecks bounced back to tie the game on this goal by Ron Butcher. That forced overtime. And again, it was Butcher to win the game for the Tulsa Roughnecks. On Thursday night, Team America won its second straight game and vaulted into first place in the Southern Division on this goal by Hayden Knight that propelled Team America into first place. And this great save by Team America goalkeeper Paul Hammond on tattoo. Today, these two Southern Division rivals will battle it out at RFK Stadium. We'll hope you'll stay tuned. We'll be back with Gordon Bradley in just a moment. And everybody, this is Mike Lang along with Gordon Bradley here at RFK Stadium. This afternoon, Team America battling the Fort, Strike, uh, Fort Lauderdale Strikers, Gordon. Interesting matchup, two different teams. Two different styles of play here, Mike. We've got the players like Kubias, Zagota, Brian Kidd, and of course their recent acquisition, Ricardo Villa, who's a World Cup Argentinian player who they just bought from the Tottenham Hotspur Club of England. They technically have got a lot of skill and should score a lot of goals. However, Team America, probably the best defensive record in the league, with Jeff Durgan and Dan Cantor and Paul Hammond playing tremendously well of late, they are a great defensive team. Don't eliminate, though, Team America's capability of print, because today, today sees the return of Alan Green, who's always been a prolific goal scorer. Alan will team up with Andy Parkinson, and that duo should also score goals, so it's certainly going to be very, very interesting. We will see in goal for the Fort Lauderdale Strikers, Jan Van Beveren, who has been an all-star the last three years. We had a chance to talk with him earlier and ask him about what he thought about the concept of Team America. America concept. Oh, the concept is great. The only thing uh, we have to wait for, uh, if it pays off, uh, you know, we, you, you, you can't do a thing like this uh, for a couple of months or a year. You have to, to look at this at, on the long term. And uh, if it pays off, uh, it's a, and uh, if it will survive the, the whole uh, soccer in the United States, it's a great uh, concept. Uh, the only thing is now up to them, you know, to come up with the, the, the good results against the foreign teams, qualify for the, for the World Cup, and uh, then it's off uh, on the way up. Thank you, Jan. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, we'll return for more action here from RFK Stadium to start of today's game after this word from your local stations. All right, these are the starting lineups for this afternoon's game. The keeper, Jan Van Beveren, Bobby Belitha, Ken Fogarty, Tony Whelan, and Bruce Miller on the back line. Midfield, Ray Hudson, Thomas Rongen, Ricardo Villa, and he'll also be joined by Cabillas, and they're the strikers, Gordon Bradley. Brian Kidd and Segoda. Now for Team America, and they will be going with uh, Arnie Mauser this afternoon uh, in the goal. An 0.87 goals against average. Second in the league to Tina Gotteri. There's Mauser, and that's the back line. Savage, Durgan, Cantor, and Merrick. Midfield, Perry Vanderbeck, Pedro Debrito, and Hayden Knight, who had the winning goal on Thursday. Bravo. <laughs> and up front. Andy Parkinson, Alan Green, and Boris Bandov operating on the left wing. Green has been a prolific goal scorer in this league, uh, Gordon, in the North American Soccer League. Yes, he certainly has. He scored 26 goals in 1980. And, of course, Algus Panagoulias, who you see there now, was looking for Allen to put more goals into the net today. It's something that Team America has been short of so far this season. At home, Team America is 2-2. Two two. Away, they are 3-2. Fort Lauderdale has yet to win a game on the road this year. They're 0-4. And their record is 3-6. Team America atop the Southern Division 
Tied with Tampa Bay, both with 35 points, but Tampa Bay has a record of three and eight. That's right. In fact, Team America is the only team that's got a winning record in the Southern Division, five and four. Arnie Mauser, and then Jan Van Beveren. Superb goalkeeper, Mike. Jan Van Beveren, a, a Dutchman, played for the Dutch national team with Johan Cruyff, who many of our viewers will recognize and remember. Dino DiPosidio will be the referee. Brian Summersby, Greg Fletcher, the two linesmen. We are underway. And Miller, Fort Lauderdale, headed up in the air. Fogarty, and controlled now. Foul is called against Fort Lauderdale. Expect a physical game here, Gordon? Certainly physical game, especially uh, after last Wednesday or Thursday's game against Tampa. There was 37 fouls called on Tim America. That's a lot in one game. You had a look at Brian Kidd, number 11, for the strikers, who was injured in the first minute of the opening game, now back. And the strikers will play it back to keeper Van Beveren. That long kick. At midfield, Kobias, who was the North American Soccer League's player of the week this past week. Ronga. And that far side. Malaito now trying to move in deep. And Hayden Knight made a good play to strip it off his leg. Well, I thought good hustle there, Gordon, to get it back. Certainly got it back well. Sagoda, a lot of individual stars on this Fort Lauderdale team. And play to the corner. Balaito again, way in. Vacating that right fullback spot. His cross into the box area. And pushed out of danger by Ganter. Good play by Danny Canada. And of course, talking about stars, we cannot say enough about Tufio Capias, who was played in three World Cup finals. Cantor, Savage, and that ball is lifted long up into the seats here at RFK. Mike, just looking at Ricardo Villa, he played for the 1978 World Cup winning team, Argentina, and scored two goals in the final of the English Cup in 1981 when Tottenham won the Cup. So he's come here, a goal scorer, a playmaker, and an excellent acquisition to the North American Soccer League. We are scoreless just underway here. 45 minute running half, we've played two minutes. And the goal kick belonging to Team America, Mauser, up to the midfield area. Vanderbeck now back on this near side to Savage. And his long ball up ahead, Alan Green. Went up in the air, unable to win it. Fogarty, now back and forth they go, and it is controlled by Fort Lauderdale. Rongen gave it away. Bandoff, looking that left side, Hayden Knight, moving instructions with his arm. Back to Bandoff. His cross, not headed out. Played right in front. And Team America able to make the play right in front of goalkeeper Jan Van Beveren. He, he had time to get the shot off. He placed it to the far post just outside, but it was a good shot by Pedro de Brito. And it's going to have to take a good shot to beat Jan Van Beveren. Superb goalkeeper. How would you describe his uh, style, Gordon? Beveren? Yes. I, uh, I've heard, Mike, that uh, if we can fault him, it's on his lack of coming out to collect the high balls. On the goal line, he's a great reactionary goalkeeper. He's got a tremendous kick, as we're going to see here now, way over the 35-yard line. 